The OpsGenie web interface provides access to all OpsGenie features and functions. However, you can also use the dedicated mobile app to easily engage OpsGenie from the convenience of your mobile device. In this video, we'll learn how to view and manage alerts, view alert details, view and manage incidents, and view incident details. The alerts page displays a list of alerts based on specified filters. You can navigate to the alerts page by tapping any of the alert counts on the dashboard or from the side menu by tapping alerts. Across the top of the page are different filters such as open, critical, unact, and so on. Slide left to reveal all the remaining filters. Tapping a filter applies it immediately to the alert list. Alerts are listed in order of newest to oldest based on the selected filter. Pull down and release to refresh the list. Tap the ellipsis at the top for more options. You can quickly acknowledge or close all open alerts from this menu. Tap Save Search to display a list of saved searches. Tapping a saved search immediately applies it to the alert list and adds it to the filter bar. You can select multiple alerts by pressing and holding an alert until the checkboxes appear in the left column. Then select the desired alerts by tapping the checkboxes. Tapping an already selected alert will deselect it. Tapping Cancel at the top right will deselect all alerts. To perform an action on all selected alerts, tap the Action button at the bottom of the screen and select the desired action. You can also slide an individual alert to the left and acknowledge or tap more to perform additional actions. To manually create an alert from the mobile app, tap the plus button at the top of the page. The alert creation page will appear where you can set priority, add a message, describe the alert, and add responders, tags, and actions. Then click Create. To view more information about an alert, simply tap the alert to display the alert details page, where you can view detailed information about the alert. Use the tabs at the top of the page to switch between details, notes, the log, and recipient states. The details tab displays by default when the alert details page first opens showing the alert message, description, tags, and all other important alert details. If there are any attachments attached to the alert, they will also be listed on this tab. Tapping an attachment opens the in-app browser and displays the content of any file that iOS supports by default, including HTML, media files, document types, and others. The Close and Acknowledge actions are available on the Detail tab. Tap Other Actions to see a list of all available actions for the selected alert. The Recipients tab displays the list of recipients for an alert along with their names and states. The Notes tab displays notes that have been added to the alert. Notes can contain HTML content which this page supports. And finally, the Logs tab displays logs related to the alert. The Incidents page displays a list of incidents based on specified filters. You can navigate to the Incidents page by tapping any of the incident counts on the dashboard or from the side menu by tapping Incidents. Across the top of the page are different filters such as Critical, Open, Resolved, and so on. Slide left to reveal additional filters. Tapping a filter applies it immediately to the incident list. Incidents are listed in order of newest to oldest based on the selected filter. Pull down and release to refresh the list. Tap the ellipsis at the top to select and apply a saved search that was created in the web app. You can slide an incident to the left and select Resolve or tap More to perform additional actions. To manually create an incident from the mobile app, tap the plus button at the top of the page. The Incident Creation page will appear where you can select the impacted service, choose the appropriate template, and update all incident details as needed. 
then click Create. To view more information about an incident, simply tap the incident to display the incident's details page. Use the tabs at the top of the page to switch between details, notes, logs, associated alerts, and responders. The Detail tab displays by default when the page opens. The Close and Resolve actions are available on the screen. Tap Other Actions to see a list of all available actions for the selected incident. The timeline displays an unfolding history of the incident. Tap Add an Entry to add a new entry to the timeline. To modify date and time information for a timeline entry, press and hold and select Edit from the pop-up list. To filter the timeline, tap Filter and select the filters you want to include or leave out. To hide a timeline entry, press and hold and select Hide from the pop-up list. Let's quickly recap what we covered in this video. We viewed and managed alerts, viewed details for individual alerts, viewed and managed incidents, and viewed incident details. To learn more about OpsGenie, be sure to watch all the tutorial videos in this series from Atlassian University.